Welcome to Inspiring Business with your host, Mark Bullock, who is the co-founder of Videosocials.net and of VideoInterviewPodcast.com. In every episode, Mark interviews business and organizational thought leaders who share their stories of how they inspire others by making a difference. You can find this show on Videosocials.net and YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and almost any podcast platform of your choosing. Welcome, and today I am delighted to have a member of our Video Socials uh, membership and a friend, Agnesia Agrella. And Agnesia is a virtual technology assistant and best-selling author of Mind Your Own Business, Your Money Is Your Business. She's also the creator of the North Star Planner. Wonderful to have you today, Agnesia. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the invitation, Mark. Really excited to have a chat with you today. Excellent. And um, I always like to start, uh, if I may, with uh, kind of what's your story? And, you know, the Inspiring Business Podcast is about people who are inspired to do the work that they do, as well as they inspire others um, in that process. But that inspiration came from somewhere. Where? You, how, did, how did you become a virtual technology assistant? Well, um, my story started in South Africa. I'm originally from South Africa, and mm-hmm. but I live in the UK now. And I grew up um, with the internet. Um, for me, it was a new thing. And um, I learned about it at university and absolutely loved it. And I was fortunate enough to work with some amazing people and amazing organizations who's given me the opportunity to develop my passion for technology. So I've worked in the manufacturing environment in the banking industry and I work with small to medium-sized businesses and I help them to put technology in so for me it's all about making the business work but the technology was always about helping people to be better so let the technology do the boring stuff and let us use our brain power to be creative so I use technology to help people to make their lives easier but that does bring a lot of stress and that does bring um, a sort of an anxiety for people around, am I going to lose my job to technology? And I think we're going a little bit through that with AI at the moment as well. But there's no need to worry about that. I don't think technology can, is going to take over the world like a lot of people think. Um, I think it will always be our slave. <laughs> I can I like I like the fact that yes, uh, <laughs> our, our slave rather than, rather than replacement. And and I think you know first of all I think it's justified for people to have concerns over that. At the same at the same token, if we look at the track record, you know, across the development of technology, even in the industrial age and and, and moving forward, yes, some of the rote you know repetitive boring ridiculous tasks that, 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 that we have to do um, and not to call out anything specific. You know, there's a lot of hardworking people in the world and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, at the same token, um, if it's dangerous, um, you know, when it comes to the, to the industrial uh, side of things and um, if it just consumes a whole bunch of wasted time, and energy, both on the part of the individuals that are performing the work, as well as the owners and the, and, and the, and the managers of those that are trying to get the work done. Um, there's never going to be an end to people who can problem solve, people who can manage, people who can um, um, have vision and, um, and, and contribute through conversation, through um, brainstorming, through any number of things that are, that are all part of everyday business life and everyday work life. Um, Technology is, for me, as being a technologist myself for many, many years, I mean, think back, you know, we were promised a paperless uh, society. Uh, (laughs) Our company's getting pretty close. I I, I have to say, we're getting pretty close. We're we're, we're not, we're, we're not responsible for cutting down as many trees as, <laughs> as we were 20 years ago. But um, other than that, um, it's anything but, you know, taken over. Uh, we've, we've grown, we've, we've, 
we have we have a lot of staff, and we and we et cetera. Um, and we just can't we we can't do what we do without people, right? That's Technology right. is just a tool, right? So, Absolutely. So um, that being said, the anxiety that I thought you were going to talk about was the anxiety of I don't know technology that well and I frankly don't want to learn it and oh my gosh right so perhaps that might that might that might key into my next question for you is you know why is virtual technology assistant who focuses on helping people pass that those technical hurdles and the learning curve etc cetera, etc cetera, why are you writing about money matters Yes, and uh, thank you for that question, because money is a result. So what we do with our life will always result into the fruits is our money. So um, when we look at how can we create money, we first have to step back and almost re-engineer it backwards to say, if I want to make this much money, what do I have to do to be able to generate that? But people actually think that they can create money from focusing on money. When we actually focus on the business and how the, the business work and making sure that the people are happy and that they are not stressed, then the business can flourish, the people can flourish, and then the money flows. So it's really important to understand that if a business works well, they make profit. And when people work well, they are healthy. And I came to the UK to study craniosacral therapy, which mm. is a complementary therapy that works with the nervous system. And it really works with how do we react when we become defensive? And when we step into anything that we don't know, our bodies automatically go into a defense. We become a lot more defensive. And that is what a lot of organizations refer to as resistance to change. It's not so much resisting change, it's more of the body is protecting me and certain functions in my body is activated and sometimes your body cannot react. And that is where I focus on in helping people. So I specialize and I've done quite a lot of studying to understand how can we bring people out of that space. And there's amazing research that's being done, especially in the neuroscience environment, around when you bring your heart and your brain into the same frequency, we went, we can go into high performance. So we literally take our body from a very steep defense mechanism with lots of cortisol and adrenaline in the body, and we can translate that into our renewing energies where we can renew our bodies, and that is where our passion, our joy, our fire is. That is what we need when we want to perform at a certain level. And to a certain extent, people who work in very stressful jobs like people in the medical profession or even people in um, very uh, security environments, they will activate that. So you need a little bit of adrenaline in the body, but you must still be able to control your emotions so that your frontal lobe where we make the decisions are still activated. Because when we go into defense, our bodies automatically hmm. short circuits the frontal lobe. It cuts it out. It doesn't normally you'll go, the, the signals will go through the brain into the frontal lobe. But when you are stressed, it cuts it out and it goes straight into your defense. That's why we cannot make logical decisions when we are very stressed. But the skills and the techniques is available now for people to learn how to manage that so that you can stay in an emotional state where you can make good decisions. And I think that's really important from a business perspective because businesses needs to be able and they need their people to be able to make those daily decisions, which is logical, which is to the advantage of the customer. And when we have all of those um, environment aspects available to us, our businesses can flourish, our people can flourish, and then that will take us into the money. So for me, if I really want customers to have good businesses, I have to make sure that the processes and the environment is conducive to flourishing and creativity. Otherwise, they will not make the money 
that they need. And then they can learn how to manage their money, how to keep the money. And why I write about money is, is there's so many uh, beliefs and um, ideas around money that actually allows us not to hold on to money. A lot of us make a lot of money, but then we spend those money and we don't always create wealth. And that is where there's a huge disparity for me still with people who understand how to keep the money they make rather than spending all the money they make. Wow. So, <laughs> so for our audience, this is why I wanted to have Agnesia on because virtual assistant doesn't begin to explain the depth of your understanding of what's required to get a company an organization functioning and working at its at, at its optimum level. I mean, how many virtual assistants have we run into in life that are even talking about neuroscience, right? So as a coach, um, as a trained business coach, um, I know a great deal about neuroscience uh, in the respect for how it affects our behaviors and what it, what it how it restricts us um, how our natural defenses, et cetera. So I'm, I'm exactly on the same page with you uh, in this. And um, I'm really glad that you brought it up because there is so much more depth. There is so much more to understand. And the brain science, which is a form of technology, is one of those areas in which um, we, we proceed blindly uh, uh, you know, with uh, with a tremendous amount of risk. Um, you know, it, the old the old school, the old ways of you know, you have your people show up. They do they they do their work. They go home and 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 uh, uh, and they, if they complain or whatever, they, that's that's just gone. You know, we 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 have to recognize that people are have internalized motivations, internalized defense systems, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And if we can learn to work with that, if we can learn how that works, um, and, and which is, which is, I think, really sets you apart as not just a virtual assistant, not just a virtual assistant that focuses on technologies um, and, and, and helping people through those technologies, but in the fact that you understand the neurosciences about what can help people to move forward, make appropriate decisions, brainstorm, communicate, et cetera, um, or what can stand in the way as far as what brings up natural resistance, which is, as you said, defense mechanisms, um, rather than, you know, think, think about that. The next time that you ask somebody to do something or you encourage somebody to make a change, when you see that when you see that natural resistance come up, if you can think of it, oh, that's just their natural defense mechanisms, not understanding what it is that's being requested or how they should respond, right? Absolutely. That opens that opens a whole door. That opens a a, a, a wide world of possibility because then you can have a conversation about that and you can define and you can you can you can. Um, work through the expectations and the why are we looking at this change? What benefit is it to our customers? What benefit is it to our staff? And what benefit is it to the organization as, as a whole, right? Um, so just absolutely fantastic. And I, I did want to say, I spent a little bit of time, you know, with your website and some of your social media profiles uh, uh, before we had, before we started this conversation. Uh, first of all, I love your website. Uh, I, I you. think it's beautiful. It's simple. It's clean. It's, it's, um, uh, it's excellent. Um, but I really wanted to acknowledge you because what you're talking about is kind of next level. Uh, and you are making a lot of information about this and, and about these concepts available for free for the taking for anybody that, that wants to. So um, I, I did want to take a moment to say, you know, your your website, which is absolutely people need to go to, uh, which is cimatize.com. And by the way, folks, there'll be links to everything that I'm about to say uh, associated with this podcast, whether it be in video or, or audio. So you don't have to remember everything. Uh, you're on LinkedIn. You have a strong presence there. 
Um, it's Ignisia Agrella and a bunch of numbers and letters. So again, there'll be a there'll be a link below for that. Um, Facebook much easier. Talk my wealth. YouTube uh, your YouTube channel is Talk My Wealth twenty one seventy eight. Um, and, uh, and your website also has, a, has the blog with your, with your videos as well. So I encourage people to, to, to do that. And because you are a video socials member and you started creating, as far as I can tell, you started creating these, uh, educational and informational videos that you, that you create, um, through video socials. I, I wanted to take a, a moment to, to say what it is. So, Video socials uh, was was born out of a need for um, thought leaders such as yourself to be able to communicate and share our knowledge, our experience, et cetera, et cetera, in a video format. Because video is not the future; it has taken over in the form of social media and and online. Uh, text is not dead, audio is not dead, of course, but. Uh, more and more and more people and more social media platforms are promoting and boosting video above everything else. So I know that that's why you started started to get into it uh, as an example. But we recognize that, again, trying to talk to an inanimate object called a camera, trying to imagine what your audience might be how it might be receiving what it is that you're saying, what you, what it is that you're conveying, um, is is a huge hurdle to to get over. So we put together um, uh, groups in small groups, typically five to ten individuals, all professionals, all um, uh, experts in their fields that are taking turns creating videos in each other's presence in a Zoom conference or, or you know, a video conference uh, similar to this. Uh, and we give each other feedback and we we encourage and support each other through that process. Um, we give tips and suggestions and we all get practice in an environment where we're each other's audience. And many, many times those practices are very publishable and are something that are, that, that, that is that is very useful uh, for, for our audiences. Um, and. Uh, and it's taken off, and 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 we have we have a, a lot of really wonderful people who are getting a lot out of it. But Ignacia, why why did you join, and what are you getting out of video socials? Yes, I mean marketing is not my strength, um, but I joined video socials purely because it's in a social environment. There's other people that I can learn from, people who are better at it than me, and that is really important because. That is how we learn the best, is when we see how other people do it. Because we can't always put our mind around, well, what am I supposed to do or how am I going to do it differently? But when you get that new ideas and you see how people, and for me specifically, in my group, I've got some amazing people who can use humor to really bring a, a topic to life. And I really think money can be quite boring. So how do I make that exciting? And that is why I joined Video Socials. I wanted to be in an environment where I can learn from other people. And I must admit, when I did Video Socials for about three months, and obviously I listen to the videos that I do because I review it before it's posted. But then I realized I made the biggest mistake in marketing that I can do, think anybody can make. And that was I confused commercial customers with individual customers. And I was talking to both of those target groups interchangeably. And that is why a lot of people kept on saying to me, but what do you do? We don't really understand what you do. And it was a huge penny that dropped for me when I realized I actually mix my messages to, and that is why I created two brands. So that is why Symmetize exists, because that is my business to business and commercial uh, business. But mm -hmm. Talk My Wealth is more to the consumer business, to the individual. And what really makes it difficult as well is because businesses exist out of people. You know, business doesn't exist without people and we are all individuals. So what we take to work is, and sometimes we put our personalities when we work, walk into work at the door and we create another person, but we are ultimately the same person. And it's sometimes <clears throat> difficult to distinguish between 
what am I supposed to do when I'm in the business and what am I supposed to do when I'm out of the business? And for me, that was a really difficult thing to get my head around. And video socials helped me to really understand how I mix that. And so when I realized that, it, I, I actually split it out and I could make my content and my information that I use for my videos, for my marketing, my social media, I split it out completely and I talk to those different um, target markets. I'm still in the process of creating different channels. And that is why sometimes it may seem, well, why am I on LinkedIn and on Facebook and it's different? I have to slowly build out how am I going to distinguish mm. who do I work with? But that's what you guys help me with. Thank you, and and uh, and delighted to do it. And we all learn from each other, right? So just just you sharing that, I think, makes a difference for for others that may not realize that it, indeed we in in many cases will have separate audiences, we'll have different audiences for different things that we do, um, and we we look at it as well. You know, I'm just doing what I'm doing, and not necessarily being able to realize that those different audiences or those different segments have a different listening. Yes. Right. So um, um, I, I'm, I'm so glad that, you know, you got that out of it. And I would encourage anyone who is looking to create content in the form of video um, to come to video socials as a guest. There's no cost. There's no obligation. Um, we'd love to meet you and, and, uh, and have you experience uh, what Ignacia has been talking about. And that's videosocials.net. And just click the guest tab at the top of the screen, RSVP for any available meeting. Uh, we'd, we'd love to have you. Um, so thank you, Agnesia, because uh, one of the things that you're indicating is, is that by being in a conversation, by creating content with others, by partnering, looking for synergy, et cetera, et cetera, with others, we expand who we are. We expand our relevance, we, we, we expand our understanding of what our audience, our prospects, our clients are really looking for and need and, and understand. So um, thank you for taking that on. Um, and now I really want to get to what is the North Star Planner and what prompted you to create it? Well, the North Star Planner is a personal planner um, to plan where do you want to be. So if you have any goals or you want to create anything in your life, mm -hmm. that is what the North Star Planner is about. And um, I have learned through my own experience and I wanted to create some, um, some form of community where people can actually learn how to create their type of wealth. Now, wealth is different for everybody. You know, my wealth is different from what you want, but we all want to create wealth. And I wanted to create a, a planner that will help me, first of all, to create that because I have planned over the years and I have achieved a lot, but there were certain things that was on my my vision board for a long time, which I haven't achieved yet. And I started to look at, well, why haven't I achieved it? And I realized that I wasn't really focusing on the right things. And the things I wasn't focusing on was my tasks, my time management, my um, priority management, and my money management weren't aligned. And I couldn't find a planner that really helped me to manage all of those three things um, to make sure that I put my time, because you know, time we can't get back. That's the only thing yep. that we only get. Everybody gets the same amount of time. And it really depends on what we do with that time that makes the difference. Once we do the right things, we then have to learn how to keep more of the money that we make because we tend to spend too much of it also on the wrong things. So I've also studied quite a few um, successful people to see what have they've done differently. And I wanted to understand, well, how can I first of all help myself and then help other people? So the North Star Planner at this stage is a book and it's a planner where you can plan, first of all, what is it that you want to achieve? There are some sections to make sure what is it that makes you happy? Because if you are in a happy place, that keeps you in high performance. It helps you to your body to renew. And then if you look at 
where do you want to spend your time on the right tasks to take you to your to your goal then you measure your output against your um, performance and that is the most important thing and that's the one thing that I never did is is that I I sort of looked at my performance but I didn't really analyze what can I do differently and that is what I learned from my, my studies with Dr. Joe Dispenza. So he really helps people to overcome a lot of the things that I've been talking about, how to overcome our fear in our bodies, how do we overcome our emotions. And the main thing is, is we have to learn how to be in a relaxed state, how to be in that happy place. And then we always have to look at what can we do better. So if I look at my day, how can I be better tomorrow? And I know the term better also means different things for different people, but it's just a matter of looking at what did I say I was going to do? Did I do it and did it work? And if it didn't work, how can I do it differently? So when we say doing it better really means how can I do it differently to achieve the outcomes that I want to achieve? And so for me, that is the things that we have to do that will take you to creating the wealth that we want. So the North Star Planner is a physical book at the moment, but the plan is, is to, to develop that into an app and then develop that in a video game. So for me, I want to use augmented reality because when we want to learn new things, we have to unlearn things. Our brains have got the ability. When we stop doing things, the connections in our brain will start breaking away. So we have to unlearn the bad habits and we have to do the good habits regularly consistently until those connections are hardwired again and that is how we change and augmented reality and virtual reality give us a space where we can make those connections because it brings the emotions in our body that we can learn faster that will help us to actually learn faster as well. So for me, that is my journey and why I'm really so excited about the future and why I think technology will always be our slave is, is that we will always learn a little bit more than technology how to use it better. Because as the technology get better, we also get better. And when we can learn how to learn in an environment that is safe, and when I mean safe, like let's for instance go on a roller coaster. If I go on a roller coaster in real life, that is too overwhelming for some people and they wouldn't want to go in there. If I do it in a virtual reality environment, they can put the goggles on their face, they can do it when it becomes too much for them, they can take it off and they can slowly bring their body. Remember I said you have to do it consistently over a period of time to make those connections. So you always take your body until it's too much and then you stop and then you go a little bit further. And that is what virtual reality and augmented reality will give us is that we can overcome those emotions and sensations in our bodies that when change is too much for us, we can step back. And so that's why I created the North Star Planner. That's my journey. That's where I want to go. Uh, I want to make money making matters fun. I worked in the banking industry for a long time and the jargon and the terminology is so overwhelming that most people don't really understand it. And the people who work in the industry also doesn't understand it. So I want to demystify the finance industry and how to make finance fun. <laughs> Right. We, we could talk all day. <laughs> I, 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 you know, as much as anything, I could listen to you all day because it's, you know, there are so many points that you made that 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 tie back. And, and if, I, if I can, I just want to connect the dots on a couple of things. What, one, one of which is, is that you know, it is a rewiring process, yeah. right? Anything that we do that's outside of what we've already done. And then this is, we start looking at the comfort zone, right? Well, the comfort yeah. zone is simply what we're used to. Yes. We can be comfortable in boiling water if we've been there, <laughs> right? You know, it's, 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 um, the comfort, uh, it, it, it's not about 
even physical comfort what we're talking about we're 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 literally we're literally talking about what we're accustomed to right yes. so what we're accustomed to is it serving us great if not what would serve us better right and that sounds very simple but we almost have to trick our minds <laughs> by deprogramming ourselves as to what we're comfortable with what we're accustomed to and become accustomed to something else that would serve us better. That process includes things like willingness to practice. Yes. That includes things like willingness to try something that's different. That includes things like how do we do that and stay safe while we're doing it, right? So you touched on at least a dozen major <laughs> um <laughs> Psycho psychological triggers and, psych and psychological concepts that um, that that people can, if you can start to understand this, it demystifies exactly what you're talking. It, it it's not only demystification of uh, finance per se; it's the demystification of how we work and how and and how our minds work and how we can manage that process. How we can corral our thoughts, both our conscious and unconscious, into serving us and to get and to and to move us towards our goals instead of counteracting our goals. You know? Absolutely. Right. So absolutely fantastic. I could go on all day. <laughs> um, but but uh, um, please check out Agnesia's website, um scimitize.com or social media platforms, et cetera, et cetera. But how can they get the North Star Planner? Well, it's available on Amazon, so you can order it from Amazon. Um, if you are in South Africa, you can also buy it from CNA, which is a bookshop in South Africa. So that's the only country where you can buy it physically. The other people around the world can buy it from Amazon. Wonderful. And we will get that link from you, and we will include it, in, uh, in, include it uh, along with this. Thank you. Agnesia, just uh, just an absolute pleasure. Um, I learned more about you, even though I've seen you shoot almost every video that you that, that you that you shot. And I, and I learned so much more about you today and 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 have such a such a, a greater appreciation for what it is that 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 you're accomplishing, what it is that you're trying to do. Um, I support you on your path and um, and I'm, and I'm thrilled to have had, had you today on the Inspiring Business Podcast. Thank you so much for the time and thank you for the conversation. As you can hear, I can also talk about the topic till the cows come home. It's something <laughs> I'm very, very passionate about um, and I can get carried away. So thank you for keeping me in check and thank you for having me. I, I didn't want to keep you in check, but I, I and, and I didn't feel like it got carried away at all. I I, I learned something and, and it reinforced a lot of what uh, um, what we do with with our company as well so uh and the clients that we serve so thank you again agnesia and uh thanks for listening folks stick around for a moment and uh, learn how you can subscribe to uh, see many more of these types of conversations with thought leaders like agnesia take care thank you <clears throat> you've been listening to inspiring business with your host mark bullock your positive comments, likes, and most importantly, your sharing of this show with others is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the Inspiring Business Podcast on whatever platform you prefer. You can catch prior episodes on videosocials.net and on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and all the major podcast platforms.